There are a wide variety of artists who show their work at the Noyes Art Gallery in downtown Lincoln. And one of them is the focus of this edition of Lance's Journal. Lance Schwartz joins us now with the story. Hi, Lance. Sharon Sykes was still attending Centennial High School when she first became a cake decorator back in 1971. 48 years later, Sharon still enjoys decorating cakes, but in 2014, she began to stretch her artistic talents into a whole new medium, steampunk art. This is my, my number one first love. Sharon Sykes has a special place in her heart for cake decorating. I will be a cake artist probably till I die. Whoa. But I kind of got into the steampunk about five years ago and I just, I like being able to take something that's gonna get thrown away and turn it into something else. And Sharon's art really is something else. I found this little old mask at Goodwill and she was really ugly. But this Waco, Nebraska native finds beauty in most everything around her. So I'll probably put the eyelashes on here. Sharon calls her work steampunk art. I like the Victorian, I love the lace and the pearls and that, but I like the gears and the metals, all the different metals, the gears and all the bronze and the gold and the silver and the copper and, and like putting those all together. The steampunk phase of Sharon's art got underway five years ago. When I very first started was for my mother-in-law for Christmas. She has a nativity set, she collects nativities. And I saw the cotter pins and I thought, well, those could be made into people. Sharon says 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and the old Wild West show were steampunk at its finest. I mean, it was locomotives, it was clocks, it was, they'd have all these gizmos, you know, that were beyond their time, more in the future, but they made them out of steam powered and blew up things and guns. And then they also had the top hats. They were all dressed with top hats and vests and pocket watches. I take an old, an old globe that somebody light fixture and this is a corkscrew. Sharon is always on the lookout for anything that is pre-used. You just start looking at stuff differently to what you could put with what. And Sharon usually does her best work after dark. I'm a late night inspiration person. So my husband will go to bed and part of the time I'll sit down and that's when I'm, I'm up till three, four o'clock in the morning because you just start it, it can start going and it's just fun. <laughs> I like to have fun. Sharon now calls Ceresco home and if you'd like to get your hands on some of her steampunk art or you'd like to have her decorate a cake for you, I invite you to head on down to the Noise Art Gallery or go to the Lance's Journal Facebook page and I'll show you how to get in touch with this talented artist. Some pretty unique